Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you how to add the audio video in our HTML page. Uh, so first of all I am going to add the audio in our HTML page. Here what we need to do just type the audio tag and there is the closing tag. We are able to add only OGG, WAV and the MP3 format audio in the HTML page. If we add any other format audio then it will not support it by the browsers. So we need to add the MP3, OGG or WAV. So here I am gonna write controls. Here we have to write controls and here we need to write source and then we need to write the source and then the address and the name and the extension of the file so I have copied the file in my same folder where the HTML file is placed so if the file is placed in a different folder then we have to write the full address and if the file is placed in the subfolder then we have to write the name of the subfolder but now we have to write only the name of the file that is b.mp3 b.mp3 and .mp3 is an extension here when we click on it so here is its extension .mp3 so now after it we need to write type its type is audio and format is mp3 so now let's load it in the browser here reload it and here you can see that uh, the file is loaded and I'm gonna play it here you can see that this music this music is played so this is the way we can add the audio and now if we want to add the two audio files at the same time so how to add the two audio files for example here I'm gonna copy the previous and here is our audio file and now here is the mp3 file this is another mp3 file and now here I am going to add the both two mp3 files at a time. So here is the c.mp3 and now let's load the browser. So now here let's play this file and here the first song is play in the browser. Why? Because the browser execute the first song or the first mp3 file why when the browser start executing this file and browser reach at this statement then browser load that file whose format is spotted and the file is available but here both files are available and both formats are supported then browser play the first file because both files are present and the browser gives the priority to the first file here I'm gonna edit the name of the first file and now this file is not existing in the folder and now let's load the page and here you see that the second song is played Oh, Mono Love by Edward Maya nice song and here uh, I hope you understand if first file is not present or the format is not supported then the second file execute and now I will sh uh, I want to show some controls here you can give the controls autoplay so when the browser loads the file it automatically plays the file here you see that it automatically play the file and the second thing is the loop so when the song is finished then this loop attribute uh, again play the audio file or song and the next thing is the muted so when we load the file it is muted here you see that the song is played 
but it is muted and the next thing is preload so what is preload the preload have the three values first value is auto so when we load the page uh, then it automatically loads the audio and the second value is the metadata we can also say it meta and the meta loads the uh, uh, author of the audio and the uh, uh, content of the audio it just loads the information about the audio file and we can also give it value none so it it cannot do anything and the next thing is how to insert the video in a page here I'm gonna make it in a comment here is the comment and now here I'm gonna show you how to insert a video video and here is the video and here we need to write the controls to put the controls and here what we need to do just write the source and here is the SRC and here we need to input the file name and the extension if the both video and HTML file is in the same folder it if it is in the different location then we need to put the complete address here I'm gonna put m a dot mp4 so the video formats that are supported by the browser are mp4 web m and the OGG these three formats are supported by the browser and now we have to write the type of the file is video and its extension is mp4 and here you can see that this video is added and now you see that it is played and now here we are also able to put these four attributes autoplay here I'm gonna put the autoplay it play the video automatically here you can see Drop that um, and the second one is loop muted and you can also put the loop and muted when we load the video and here we are also able to put the preload preload have the same function that is in the audio we can give it the value meta and auto and the none auto automatically loads the video and the second thing is we can also put the two videos at a time so what video will be played by the browser the video whose format is supported or whose file is exist that file is played by the browser and at the first browser check the first video uh, extension is correct first video file is present then browser play this if this is not present then browser play the second and then third and then fourth you can put the videos and audios as many as you want so now the third thing I want to teach you is the how to add a plugin in a web page so what is the plugin the plugin there are many plugins we are using uh, the plugins are uh, used as a helper application or helping softwares uh, these are the helper softwares it is used for scanning viruses it is used for display the map in the websites it is used for verification of the bank IDs and it is also used for adding the image audio video in our web pages so now I'm gonna add a audio or a video in our web page using by or using the plugin or by creating a plugin so there are two tags two elements we are able to use first is object object element create an object in our HTML page here is the object and here we are able uh, to put the data so data contain the address of the video file and the extension of the video file name so if the file ex exists in another folder then put the full address and now let's load it here, you, here I'm gonna 
was filming a, a video, so I had some lighting set up. I'm gonna comment the previous thing. Here is the comment. So now let's load this. And here is the video is loaded and you can also give it the width and the height. Here is the width. And height. Here is the width and the height. And you can able to play these videos. Here you can see that. And the second way of adding the plugin is by using the embed element. Here I'm going to use the embed element. Embed here is, embed have only the starting tag. If it have not any ending tag, so here we need to put the source and then width and height. Here I'm going to put 5, 200 height and width is, width is 500 and here is the sources a.mp4 and now let's load it. Here you see that this second video is edited by the embed element here is the embed element and now I'm gonna teach you how to add uh, a video from the YouTube many websites directly give the link of the YouTube video in their web page so how to give this now I'm gonna teach you so now I'm gonna teach you how to add the video from the YouTube into our web page there are three matter methods to add the video from the YouTube to in our web page. First is directly copy the embed code and paste it. It is using the frame HTML iframe and the second is using the object and the third is embed. So now I'm going to make it in the comment. And now what we need to do just go to YouTube here I have already opened the Bugs Bunny cartoon and then right click on it copy the embed code and here we have to paste this code so here you can see that this is the iframe height width and the source is this and the frame border is zero and then allow full screen to allow the full screen and now reload our page so here you can see that this video is added you can play this video here I'm gonna close this so this is the way of adding the video and now I'm gonna add the video using the object here is the object and here is the data and then here is the closing tag of the object and then here in between these inverted commas we have to paste we have to paste this link here is this link so now let's load it so here the two videos are present here is the object video you can see this video and the third method is I'm going to copy this that is embed here I'm going to remove it and what we need to do just write the source and here is the embed embed and let's load it so three video files are present here you can see that this is by using the embed so this is the way of adding the video from the YouTube in my next lec in my next lecture I am gonna show you what are the HTML5 semantic elements see you in the next lecture